Hey, what's up, you tubulous? EXO coming at you here, playing some catch up for today's archive audio dive. We'll have some fun, run some wires, and install a amplifier while briefly tuning it up for a quick driveway project with our buddy Joe. We've got Joe Baker here for a nice little change of pace for a four channel install. Remote wire, and we're gonna tune it up with O-scope, right? Simple as that. Why don't you show us what's going on and tell us a little bit of what the, the equipment we're gonna be doing it with. It's a TA 400.4 from Soundstream. And there she is. We're gonna be redoing all these little connections right here. And you can see the six by nines in the rear deck. Crossover right here. We've got it pretty much all situated, so that is our cue to get things installed. So let's get that board in here first and foremost and see how she fits. And the reason why you're blocking it off is because you're gonna be porting through the rear deck with a subwoofer enclosure. Yep. Ported box. Nice. Put the amplifier right there, and you still have a little bit of room yeah, for, a little bit of room for activities. For, for exactly. For camping chairs and Exactly, sometimes you don't want to take up the whole freaking trunk, so usually you have to sacrifice some sort of placement in order to have room for more stuff. Now we just ripped it out real quick because I may have a scrap piece of carpet that works maybe perfectly or maybe just enough to get in by, aw oh, No, not that piece. A little bit bigger than I thought. I always try recycling old supplies first, but if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Well, at least you planned it out where your wires go through your amp rack pretty neatly. So you're just gonna pop your seats out right now so you can get some easy access. And just like that, the seat is out. Plenty of, holy sh Wow, I don't remember it being this wide open. That is phenom. I swear this trunk got bigger or something. You guys remember that fourth order band pass that we built for one of these trunks? Crap, I had a hard enough time trying to fit 12s in there the way I wanted to. Is this a 12 inch? speaker that I'm holding? Yep. You could probably fit 15s in there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Oh my God. Stick her there for the moment. Here comes the power and ground. And then RCAs. You doing two 15s in here for real? Yeah. That's gonna be awesome, man. Probably SoundCube HDS. I'm hoping I have enough airspace. Yeah, me too. I mean, after all, most 15s take three to five cubic feet in order to be happy. So a crammed space like this is gonna make matters very difficult when designing and building. But luckily, we don't have to worry about that today. We're just getting the mids and highs up and running. All right, let's get that wire down here so we can plug it right into the amplifier. This all came with the speaker? <laughs> Holy hell, dude. What is that, like a thousand feet of 20 gauge? Now that we've got some wires ran, it's time to tackle one more extra job, replacing Joe's battery terminals. Evidently, he really hated the ones that he had. The EFX battery terminals? Yeah, fucking horrible. Hey, let me guess, that's what you have on there right now? Why don't you give me a little taste? Mm -hmm. Oh, those, yeah, those I, horrible. I know about those, man. Those are a pain in the butt. We're gonna go ahead and replace this with a huge lug here. Fits right on there perfectly. He was trying to plumb that big boy into this. Let's go ahead and try to avoid that. I'm talking funny because I have a washer in my mouth. What the hell is my problem? All right, we managed to plumb that wire right into this nice hefty two-watt lug. So let's go ahead and do my first heat shrink on video. EXO is stepping it up for the first time. No more electrical tape. Say it ain't so. Yes, you heard correctly. No shame in the game though. This was literally my very first time using heat shrink filmed over four years ago. Up until that point, I just used electrical tape. And like we talked about on Tuesday, we all have to start somewhere and it takes time to slowly acquire all of these tools and supplies and that's what's so fun about this channel both of us you and me every day we're learning and improving as we go no wonder why people like this so much oh there goes my washer out of my mouth not bad at all Ha <laughs> and with our stock wires now complete and neatly heat shrinked we can move on over to our four channel power wire which is uh, fused up with this little mini ANL, and we're gonna do that rosin core with our original plans with our little benzo or burnzo i didn't know there was ever an r all right, we got her going, and just like my other tutorial video, just holy sh just ripped up all by itself. 
I didn't even touch anything. I was just about to tell you that my flame was perfect. Yeah, this nozzle is always acting up. The second you go to use it, it just randomly kicks into high gear and you don't even know what to do with yourself. All right, now it's going back down again. But that's just about the flame you want right there. Something modest. Go down and apply it to the back side of the terminal. Holy, she's eating that. Look at that, it just turned up all by itself. Now I got like a two inch beam. <laughs> Looks like my Craftsman nozzle might have just the bed. We're just gonna put that to rest for now and hopefully we can get a crimps on this thing with the hydraulic set. We got this 25s in there right now. It's definitely not gonna go anywhere, that's for sure. And we'll put some hank sheet to her. That's crimped. Right, time to put that new snazzy battery terminal on there with our new beautiful heat shrinked connections. All right, she's all installed. Now we just need to run a simple little remote wire, some primary 18 gauge into the back where all the amplifiers and the goodness of bass will be held. So he's taken out the bezel, his little kit here, which is holding in our Pioneer doubled in. The remote should be a blue wire just on the opposite side. So we're just gonna splice into this little baby blue back here for our amplifier. Pulling it right through. We got a whole roll to work with so we can just trim it whenever we need to cut. Your carpet is even clipped in, dude. I'm gonna let you do that because I'm always notorious for just breaking them. In, is remote wire coming through this hole? Okay. Power, ground, and remote. Good to go. So to you, all the right-hand speakers are on the left-hand side, and all the left-hand speakers are on the right-hand side. We need the rear left on your bottom left. There you go, perfect. And then the front left is directly to your right of it. Got it? Perfect length, actually. And then the last one is just the rear right. Right there. There's all the wires. Power, ground, remote, rear left and right, and front left and right. It's amazing how much different doing installs is when you have two people, huh? Mm -hmm. It just makes it go by so much better. Everyone who comes into my driveway ends up with their car in pieces. <laughs> it's gotta be a trending thing now. Got the power and ground connected, remote wire looking good, and the speaker wires are almost all connected too. And then we're gonna tune up everything right in this same video, even though you probably already saw it in the other video from Steven in his 6.5 case, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time around, we're gonna try to do it with the speakers plugged in, because they should be able to handle all this power no problem. And unless that's the case for you too, I'd recommend just unplugging the speakers. Better be safe than sorry. That way you can optimize your power levels without worrying about blowing up your speakers. But in this case, the Soundstream amp is rated at less than half of the wattage that the speaker is. So technically we should be able to crank it up full bore without any problems, especially for short bursts. So we'll just shut the door so we're not going like beep up the damn block. Looking spiffy, my good sir, except for the RCAs, but we need to figure out which one's rear and which one's front. So how about you go up front, you wanna turn on your head unit and you can just do the fader and I'll tell you when the voltage changes. If you ever forget to mark which RCA goes where, you can always use the fader on your head unit to see which is which. Just probe your RCA cables with a multimeter, set your fader to rear, and if the voltage goes up, it's rear, and if it goes down, it's front. All right, we got the rear and the front all situated and we know where it's all going. Uh, thanks to our little handy dandy oscope here, we were able to test the voltage on the fader. Closing up all the doors because we're gonna be doing this test with our speakers plugged in. Um, really doing this by request because a lot of people said, you know, we wanna see you do it like that. So I've always done it with the speakers unplugged. It's gonna be a lot louder, whew, that's for sure. So I'm gonna hook this up here to the positive and the negative and we're gonna check out our oscope. Here it goes. I bet he's dying in there. So he was clipping quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring down the gains a little bit because it seemed pretty high. There's one more little thing that is gonna be harder to film because I need to do this adjustment and look at this and make sure I'm holding these things in um, onto these little terminals 
all at the same time. So I gotta put the camera down just for a little bit. If you wanna check out the other video, I'm gonna link it right now if you wanna get the full gist of it. Well, there she is, YouTubulus. We just did the quick little tuning there. I just adjusted the gains really quickly uh, just to get it so it wasn't clipping there. The windows and doors were all rolled up so we couldn't really get much of it on film, but she's sounding good. He was just playing some music for us. We just gotta probably address a little bit of that stock tweeter area up here. Probably this is next project. Yep. You got a little stock tweeter up there. Needs a little bit of diagnosing and finding where that stock amplifier is. But until the next video, guys, this is EXO and Joe hanging out, getting shit done. Now it's time to put everything back together and uh, call it quits. Well, there we have it, guys. Just a nice little relaxing install video, having some fun on the EXO channels with our buddy Joe from New England. Always a great time hanging out with friends. And when you involve car audio installs in general with your friends, it really makes the time go by that much quicker. So thanks, Joe, for coming over. Even though it was filmed almost five years ago, it was still nice to be able to post this up on YouTube. And it kind of stresses the point, man, so much has changed since the filming of this video. So many tools have been accumulated, supplies, skill sets. So if you guys are interested in following this journey along with us and, and learning right here side by side, I would love to have you on the channel. We, we saw me use a heat gun for the first time and how many times have you guys seen me use a heat gun since then? Special thanks to my supporters on Patreon. They help make the extra touch of editing and um, uh, work into these videos possible. And you guys' comments and your engagement is always the extra gravy on the cake. We've got the behemoth build like you guys are waiting for. Just a quick little word on that. A lot of people are wondering, why ha hasn't that begun? Why, why aren't you building this, this big system yet? Well, I have to also stress that these type of things take time. And since I'm collaborating with others on this project, you also have to deal with time frames of their schedules and work around that. I'm gonna be going to Miami. I'm gonna be going to Gainesville. I'm gonna be going to Greensboro. It will be coming together very soon. But until then, we've got our 218s build ravaging the freaking streets. I got an awesome little expose coming on that build with the door panels, B and C speakers. So many reasons to be joining the channel lately. And I'm just gonna be coming out with more and new stuff for you guys. So till the next video, this is EXO. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you for being here. Hush